It's been over a month since Chris took a huge L at the thrift. Some might say that the urge of buying clothes has halted him tremendously, causing him to quit. But after weeks of wonder, it seems that Chris has returned with a vengeance. Who is this young Takanashi that we have come to love? Is he a fraud just looking for the extra buck? Or is he a warrior ruling over the Nashi clan, showcasing the best content on YouTube? Is Goodwill his last stop on YouTube? Will he fall before he gets to see his full potential? Or is he the warrior savior that he has so proclaimed video after video? Find out now! Okay. So I'm gonna make this quick. Before we get into this video, you guys already know that you guys have to check out my Instagram, Chris Takanashi. I don't know why you guys haven't checked out the Instagram already. Do you guys not mess with me? Do you guys only like the clothes? Do you guys only like the shoes? You guys don't wanna see fresh clothes pictures? Do you guys don't wanna see fresh shoes pictures? Do you guys don't wanna see behind the scenes before you even get to watching the video? Huh, huh, are you fake? Are you disloyal? Are you? Well, if not, go check out the Instagram, at Chris Takanashi, and um, yeah, let's get into the video. Now, first off, I just want to apologize because you already know that your boy has been out of commission. But if you look at my face, there is a reason why. It's like a cold kind of caught a hold to me and just would not let go. So like for the past couple of days, I've just been bedridden. I've just been like sleep catching Z's for like entire days and like when I'm not catching Z's I'm just like on a computer jotting down different video ideas because you know your boy has been sniffling up a storm I don't even know like you might be able to see it like there's like a nice little red ring around my nose like I look like I've been through it all right now so don't mind me but one thing that I do have to say is over the course of these last couple of weeks your boy has been making quick runs to the thrift stores your boy has been picking up clothes from here picking up clothes from there and you guys remember what happened during the last thrift store video do you if you don't run the footage Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. This next piece I'm about to show you is an L incoming. I mean, like, if you guys are watching this and you guys have made it down to this part and you guys have made it this far, first of all, thank you. But second of all, go ahead and start putting your L's in the comment section because the shirt that you are about to see, you're gonna be like, Chris, what? In tarnation? And the piece is this button up right here. Now, somebody please explain to me what in the world I was thinking. This doodle green with like this dang Amityville House of Horror print on it. Like this right here. This is scary. Like in every scary movie that you watch, the house always has some kind of print like this. This shit right here, bruh. I don't know what the fuck I thought I was. Like, I don't know who the fuck I thought I was being. This old, what the fuck? I don't know what the fuck this shit is. I don't know why the fuck I bought this. This shit is ass. I don't know, bro. What the fuck? I don't know, bro. I want my four bucks back. Yeah, you remember that? Else, else. But one thing that your boy Young Sensei was determined to do, I was determined to right the wrong of the L that I took. So I took those two L's of the shirts that I picked up at the last thrift store, took those back, picked up some better shirts, and then picked up some other clothes from here and here. So as always, we're about to get into it. So without further ado, sit back, relax, go to McDonald's, and get you a Whopper because we are about to get it popping. Now, like always, before we get into the video, let's go ahead and get into the fit. Now, this hat is the same S hat that I've been wearing for a long time. I do not know what company it's from, but I do know that I picked it up from Carmeloop, and this olive green shirt right here is from New World Republic, and you can pick this up on the website. Now, to keep it real, when it comes to the thrift store, I will say that when I first started going to the thrift store, I didn't really like the thrift store because I didn't really like the thought of putting other people's clothes on that other people wore. I didn't really like the fact that you will go in and you will see like a whole bunch of dingy stuff but then after watching other thrifters and then after constantly going myself i realized that you could pick up some prizes and you could pick up some nice little gems if you're lucky and if you have a good eye if you have a keen eye when i went to go take those two shirts back i went looking through the flannels and the button downs as you always know and i found this extremely dope tommy hilfiger button up right here now this one is extremely dope and when it comes to like a tommy hilfiger button up or a button down the shirts are usually like 60 to 70 to like 80 bucks i paid four dollars for this shirt right here the shirt is extremely clean there were no marks on it nothing about the shirt looked bad at all there's like no wear on this shirt so i thought that this was a oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh can you get it together 
there's like nowhere on this shirt so I thought that this was an extremely dope find and a nice little pickup I really like this shirt because as you guys know as you can see if you look back there you guys see all the different color button-ups that I wear and all the different color button-ups that I wear in my videos and I just think that this color is cool that khaki mixed with that navy blue mixed with that light blue like I said man the thrift store has some gems in it the thrift store has some prized possessions you just have to keep your eye open. And as well as that other button up that I picked up, I also went looking on the other racks. I went looking at the other button ups and like the short sleeve button ups. And I picked up this super dope vintage short sleeve shirt right here. And I think that this shirt is extremely dope. As you can see, if you look at the colors, if you look at the stripes, this looks like a little old man shirt. Like this looks like a shirt that you will see on like one of them old sitcoms. I think that this is dope. That nice little sea green with that little sea blue with that little oatmeal stripe going through it. I just think that that's dope. And as far as the quality, it doesn't really have too much wear, but it does have that nice little vintage look. And if you guys don't know what that vintage look is, a vintage look is when you see like a shirt, when you see like any kind of clothing that you might think is vintage and it has like that nice little OG vintage wash to it to where it kind of looks faded but brand new at the same time and when it comes to this shirt right here you guys might recognize it because in the Air Jordan 13 bull review I picked those up wearing this bad boy right here and if you guys really notice how I wore it if you guys really notice how I styled it you guys know that I pulled this off because I know a lot of you guys might be looking at this right now and thinking this shirt right here this one right here this shirt's trash son like what what, what, are, you, what, are, you, what, are, you, what are you talking about trust me I picked this bad boy up and I I made it look dope as far as the brand this is a brand that i've never heard of it's from bugle boy classic and it is in a size extra large and i guess it kind of fit like an extra large on me but i will say that i just put a hoodie on over it and it looked fine it kind of fits like a jersey to me so if i just wore it open or like buttoned it down just a little bit it'll look extremely dope to my opinion and one thing that's sick also is that if you look on that left pocket down there it has that super dope embroidery that looks super vintage also like you guys know they have that vintage tommy and that vintage polo and it has like that old chaps embroidery logo and the left it has one of those also like i said keep your eyes open and you can find anything now before we get into anything else i just have to give a huge shout out to the homies over at cousins brand back when the channel was like at 800 subs at like a thousand subs they were like the second company to look out start sending me stuff and i think that that is super dope and appreciated so i was on their website and i picked up this extremely dope hoodie right there now one thing that's dope about cousins brands hoodies in my opinion is that for me they fit pretty big on me in my opinion and they're really comfortable and when it comes to hoodies i just thought that this was a hoodie that i definitely needed in the rotation this is a nice little black zip up hoodie as you can see the weather out here changes dramatically it could be 70 degrees one minute 80 degrees one minute and then you look outside the next morning and it's actually snowing which is actually pretty crazy so when it comes to hoodies when it comes to winter wear you definitely need one of these on deck in my opinion and one thing that i like about this one is that it's multi-purposeful now usually the hoodies that i don't show are just straight hoodies that you just throw on and you just keep it moving but i will say that this hoodie right here is a nice little zip up hoodie that i think is extremely dope and if you look at that left pocket it has that nice little fuzzy material going on now if you look at the fuzzy material that you see on the left pocket it kind of reminds me of the tongue on the air jordan 8 because it has like that nice little chanel patch i think that that is extremely dope a nice little touch but when it comes to touches on this hoodie we are not done if you look at the sleeve if you look at the other side on the sleeve it is patch galore like you can't get rid of patches as far as patches the first patch is an eagle the next patch is a skull and bones and the patch after that looks like a black panther and i just think that that is dope as far as the quality on this hoodie i will say that the quality is in dope shape and also as far as sizing i will say that i picked this up in a large but i don't know if it's just me when other people wear cousins brand stuff they always go true to size but i picked this one up in a large and as you guys know i always go a little bit bigger this one fit really big on me and usually when i go up a size of pick up a large it still fits like a large but it still fits a little bit better this one definitely fits big on me so i'm not really sure you might want to go your true size or go up a size you might just have to take a swing on it out there and just go your true size just to make sure that everything fits perfectly but like i said before the brand's name is cousins brand and if you guys want to check out more of their stuff there will be a link to it down in the description box down below now the next piece it's a treat. Now this shirt right here is a shirt that everybody asked me about. This fair clothing shirt right here. Whenever I wear it, whenever you see me with this bad boy on, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's on Instagram Live, whether it's on YouTube Live, this is a shirt that everybody is like, yo Chris, we need this shirt. I want to give a big shout out to the homie Steven because this shirt right here is from the homies over at Fair 
clothing. I believe that when it comes to this shirt, this shirt is still available. You can definitely check it out on their website. I picked this one up in a size large because as you guys know, the shirt that I'm wearing right now is a size large. And when it comes to clothing, I like to make sure that I go up a size so that it fits a little bit bigger so that I don't mess around and mess with a shirt medium or like I don't mess around and buy a hoodie and the hoodie fits too small because nobody wants to go through that. So when it comes to this shirt, all of you guys ask me where this shirt is. Everybody asks me, yo, Chris, where'd you get the shirt? Here you go. I got it from Fair clothing the link to the website is down in the description box below if you want this shirt do not miss out but as well as that shirt they sent over their brand new navy blue shirt right here and i think that this one is extremely dope like i said like i said in the last video when it comes to the sneakers i definitely like the busier stuff i definitely like the more loud stuff but i feel like when it comes to like more simple stuff like a simple shirt or simple shoes with like simple colors that don't get too crazy i definitely like that also because i feel like you can't really go wrong pretty much look at the shirt I'm wearing nice olive green pretty tame pretty chill not too crazy and the same goes with this shirt right here now this shirt right here is extremely dope because this one is in a nice little navy blue and the fair logo is in a nice little crazy haiku script kind of look now one thing that I will say is as far as sizing I picked this one up in a large and I recommend that you guys go up in a large also I feel like if you guys like that bigger fit if you guys like the bigger fit that I wear on all my shirts I recommend whatever size you wear you go up half a size so that it could fit better on you but then again if you like like wearing your true size if you guys like if the shirt fits a little bit more snug on you then i recommend that you go your true size so if you like <coughs> i'm sick as far as the quality on this shirt, I think that the quality on this shirt is super dope. You can't really go wrong. No loose threads. No loose threads. The printing is fine on it. Everything's just dope on it. So I recommend that you guys check it out. So if you guys like it, the link to the website is in the description box down below. All right, everybody. So that's the end of this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. I will say, bro, that I haven't filmed in like five days. And any YouTuber will probably agree with this. Like when you get in a groove when it comes to filming videos, it's probably real easy to film when you're in a groove. But when you've been away for some time and you just come back and you like, I'm ready to go. You're probably going to be looking at the camera like what's my intro again? Like you're going to be messing up. You're going to be having to take multiple takes. It's just your boy's sick. I need some Robitussin, but I don't take medicine. The white man trying to brainwash it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching as always. I really do appreciate it. I got more videos coming soon. And just a little bit of advice, bro. Just, 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 just a little bit of advice. If you like one of them stay woke guys, like if everything is like stay woke and feng shui, stop. You sound like an idiot. But thank you guys for watching as always. New videos are coming soon. And I just have to say, hey, first of all, did I take a W when I went back to the thrift? Did I redeem myself? If so, put a W in the comment section down below. But without further ado, I just got to say, hey, blessings, blessings, blessings. And uh, yeah, Chris out.